Hello everyone, welcome to Mommy A to Z. Today I'm going to be speaking about week by week pregnancies and in this video I'm going to be speaking about the first trimester, the 0 to 8 weeks. It has just sunk in that you're having a baby and it's amazing how much is going on inside your body. By week 8 it's about 4 weeks since your period would have been due but you're already two thirds through the first trimester even if you don't feel it. Okay, your body changes. Lots of women don't feel or look any different at this stage. If that applies to you, don't worry. There is a lot going on. You are producing a lot of hormones to help establish the baby's life support system. And your breasts are already beginning to prepare for feeding your baby. Classic symptoms. If you do feel different, it's likely to be tiredness and perhaps nausea that affected you most. The tiredness can be more draining than any you have expected before. Even women who have used, are used to staying up late or working shifts go much earlier to bed because they are quicker tired. I know also with my pregnancy you get tired quicker. And even if you sleep you'll feel exhausted when you wake up. And then also even if you take a nap during the day it still doesn't help. Nausea is the other classic early pregnancy symptom, commonly known as morning sickness. Okay, here are some facts about you at this stage of your 0 to 8 weeks. Your heart rate is increasing, possibly by about 10 beats per minute. Your breasts are getting bigger and may feel a lot more sensitive than usual. Your met metabolic rate is increasing by 10 and 25%. You may have put on 900 to 1.4 kilograms, 2 to 3 pounds. Only a tiny percentage of this is the baby. The rest is the weight of your growing uterus and its contents and the forming placenta. Okay, now easing your symptoms. Dealing with fatigue. Don't try to beat tiredness. The only thing to do is to listen to your body and if possible change your schedule so you can rest more if you are commuting to work try to change your travel time so you're not in the car or train all the time in the busiest times of day which can be stressful for you and wear you out nausea some women find dry toast and crackers to help with nausea and like um, they also say like water to drink water and also to have like ginger tea and ginger biscuits is also another tip okay mood changes if you find you're expecting lots of mood changes and swings talk it through with your partner so he understands how you're feeling don't shut him out keep communicating okay and change your changes in your body is your breathing rate increases, your stomach feels bloated, you sometimes feel faint, you may suffer from constipation, you will feel you need to go to the toilet more frequently. And with that nausea feeling, I know when I had, when I was pregnant, it's not nice. And then also smells of food can put you off, but every woman is different and every pregnancy is different. But these symptoms are which the majority of women will you know um, experience like with me I never experienced real cravings so everyone is also different in that in that you know section you can't you can't say every woman's gonna have a craving for something because I didn't have cravings at both my pregnancies okay let's go a little bit into the emotions the first weeks of pregnancy are often a time of conflicting emotions although you may have longed for a baby Worries about future plus the hormonal changes going on inside your body can be unsettling. Adjusting to being pregnant. On the one hand, you're very excited. Your life is about to change forever by the rub of your beautiful little baby, your bundle of joy. You have longed so long for a baby. Or maybe your pregnancy is a complete surprise. Either way, you are now looking forward to becoming a mother. You know this change is going to throw 
you and your partner into a new world. And it's a world that you can fully, you can't fully know until you're actually there, where you actually have your baby and you're going through motherhood and parenthood. So there are also worries about how it's going to change your life, your relationship and your career. Like if you are working, it is different when you have a baby um, or you're going to be a stay-at-home mom or you know what's going on and you're on maternity leave, all those things. Hormonal changes can make you prone to mood swings, irritability, weeping, weepiness. Some women compare this to a prolonged period or premenstrual stress. Managing morning sickness. Pregnancy nausea is like no sickness you've ever experienced before. Often it's kind of gnawing emptiness and you feel like you've just had something to eat. Like I know I've experienced that way. I'm at work and I've eaten like a, a proper meal, not like just bread or something. I've eaten like food. And afterwards I joke with the people, I look down and I'm like, where's my food? And then they're like, what? And then I say, it doesn't feel like it went into my body. I must have let it fall because I still felt so hungry. And it's it's an irritable feeling and it's like it's terrible actually how I experienced it. Maybe other women haven't experienced it. Comment below. How is it for you? But for me, it, it's, it's terrible, but that's in the first trimester. I couldn't wait for it to be over and that nausea feeling. But once that was over, it went better. It's just then you, you feel heavier after that. But yes, the trouble is eating doesn't necessarily help or not too long and may even make you vomit. The term morning sickness is misleading. As many women experience nausea or vomiting in the evening, as in the morning for and for the very unlucky it can be throughout the whole day i've heard of i didn't experience it like that mine was more in the morning but i've heard of women that experience it like throughout the whole day and in the middle of the night even the positive side is that nausea is due to the increased amount of hormones circulating in your system which is usually a sign of a healthy pregnancy I've also heard that before, so even if you don't feel good, know that your pregnancy is healthy. A common concern is, am I going to feel this awful for another seven and a half months? If you're suffering badly from tiredness and sickness, you may worry about this. But the answer is, happily is, almost certainly no, you should feel a lot better by week 13 to 14. Diet and nutrition. Eat little and often to help balance blood sugar levels. Look for foods that are rich in vitamin B6 and zinc, as nausea is linked with deficiencies in these nutrients. Try wholemeal bread or ginger in any form. Like I said, I've heard of ginger tea. I've heard of ginger tea. I've heard of ginger biscuits, all that is good to have. And even, of course, um, to increase your milk supply once you have your baby ginger beer, they also say is good. You may find it helpful to eat something before you get out of bed, such as a dry cracker or ginger biscuit. Keep snacks to, ha to hand throughout the day. Even if you are vomiting, try and eat as healthy as you can. Bananas. Bananas are rich in vitamin B6 and will help to prevent your blood sugar levels from dropping. And that's all I have for you for today. I'm going to do, this is part one of 0 to 8 weeks pregnancy. I'm going to do a part two next where it's going to speak about your baby, how your baby's grown inside of you. Um, all the information of that and a bit more of eating and what foods you must avoid. So look out for that video, like this video if you liked it, comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.